Good morning, everybody. It's the 15th of December. Been out this morning getting things going. Got some calves fed. Nothing too exciting. Maybe nothing you want to see over and over again. But something is a little different today. I'm going to show you something that maybe not everybody has seen. I know if you're in the north country where there's lots of snow in winter, it ain't no big deal. But down here on the desert, it's a little bit interesting maybe to see snow and joshua trees and cactus so yesterday we got a heck of a good rainstorm it just drizzled drizzled made mud puddled up it was a good rain and then right about dark kind of turned to snow a little bit for a while and the whole valley if you can see that it's got i guess what we'd call a skiff of snow it ain't piled up like real snow but kind of pretty And if you've ever messed with equipment when it's cold out, and it's cold right now, I don't know how cold, but it's cleared off, the sky's cleared off, and it's cold this morning. It was a fun time getting all that equipment going, and you know my equipment's fun to get going anyway, but with a couple of cans of ether and some jumper cables, it's a blessed day, and right now the backhoe and the feed truck are both running. I went ahead and fed the calves, now I'm going to go mix up some feed and feed some cows. Let's go. It got left open to the yard last night and a bunch of cows and some bulls got in the yard, been getting into the hay, so we'll have to get on the four-wheeler and run them out of here in a minute. See those calves all lined up and eating? That's what you like to see right there. It's a good day. Buck, you leave them alone. Let them eat. Buck, buck. Stinking puppy. Having a good breakfast, everybody? Buck, he's gonna get the bull out of the yard. Might bit off more than you can chew there, little Bucky. Old Pete's been sitting a while, hadn't had any work for a while there. That's all we did. Haul in hay and protein. I actually stole two batteries out of it to get this feed truck going the other day. Oh, like I said, it was a little tough, but we're blessed to have both of these machines running right now. Backhoe should be warm. I fed that one load of pre-mixed feed out of the feed truck. Now I'm gonna make some hay for the mama cows over here.
These bales have six strings around them. I cut off four strings and leave two, usually in the middle, to hold the bale together while I lift it up into the truck. I take a spare hay string and tie it onto the two remaining hay strings. It's kind of hard when it's frozen like this, so I'm using my Leatherman tool to pry the string up, tie my spare string onto it. The reason for this string I'm tying on is so I can pull these out and not let them go down in the mixer. The strings around the bales have a couple of knots in them. I'm clearing this off so I can show you where that knot is right there. Now, it's important that I tie that other string on the far side of that knot so it pulls tight against it. Otherwise, when I cut those strings, my pull string here will just slip off. But right now, it's hung up on those two knots. So I can lift it up, cut the two strings below those knots, grab onto that little loop that I just made, and pull all that string off. Now, you want to be careful because the ends of those strings can go down and get tangled in the blades, in the auger, and if you got it tangled around your wrist and then it tangled around that auger, it would suck you into there and grind you up into little bitty bits. So you got to be careful about that. <laughs> All right, now I get off the backhoe, climb up on top of the truck, cut those two strings holding on to my little loop of my pull string, pull it out. Like I said, being careful not to let those ends go down and get wrapped around the blades and pull me in. Now I gotta climb back down and dump the rest of the bale that has no strings left on it.
the end of two bales that we just put in. I could put three in, but then it starts to boil over the top a little bit and waste some, so I'm just gonna do two at a time. So that's the end of those first two. We're gonna pull back over, get on the back hoe, load two more bales, grind it for a minute, feed that. Then we're gonna go ahead and load three bales, including some alfalfa, that's what the calves get. And we'll get that load mixed and ready for tomorrow morning. So tomorrow morning we come out, feed the calves first, and then start mixing to feed the cows again. Over and over and over. That's why we have that other bale all ready to go. So let's load one up. Bad news, everybody. We're just about done with this morning's feeding. Things were going well. I was gonna finish up feeding these cows and then mix a load for tomorrow morning. And then tragically, the chain on this belt broke. So I can't auger that feed off. I've got about 2,000 pounds still up on this truck. I'm not gonna be able to get it out and feed it. That chain's gonna have to be taken off of there. Probably have to fabricate a new link. And it's gotta be done by tomorrow morning. What I'm doing right now is just cleaning a bunch of the hay off of this belt so I can try and figure out how to get it loosened up and get it patched together. You don't get to see it, but I ended up loosening that up a bunch and re-welding the link. I had to kind of fabricate a new bushing, but I got a 12 millimeter socket, cut it down a little bit and uh, ended up getting this patched together. And by tonight I was feeding with it. <laughs> 